Hey folks, welcome back to Three Barrow Farm. I am up very early this morning on the 1st of September. It is, it's just past 6.30. I'm an early bird, so I'm always up early. Plus the animals always like to get outside and do their thing first thing in the morning. Well, it has been wild. <laughs> There has been some wild weather the past uh, four days or more actually and I think today is going to be windy as well. I'm sorry if the wind is blowing. I've found a little nook next to the house to try and keep away from the wind because there is a bit of a breeze and you can probably hear it in the background. I'm just watching the uh, rhubarb swaying side to side and all the flower heads that we still haven't cut off. Obviously I have not been able to get outside. On my days that I've had off that I usually spend in the garden it's just been pouring with rain and quite windy as well so I haven't been outside as much as I'd like to. I've been out here and there to pick a few herbs and things for food for dinner but other than that I have not been out in the garden and I'm busting to get outside. So the wind is just starting to pick up a bit again. It is quite wild but I think it's all going to be finished by tomorrow and on Tuesday I'm hoping to film a few videos um, especially what I'll be sewing this month I'm very excited I'm trying to hold myself back because all of this cloudy weather is not really great for raising seedlings and I've come to the conclusion that finally that I need to get a grow light we've been successful without um, a grow light so we are high enough up in Victoria that we get a lot of sunshine. We get more sunshine than Melbourne does and definitely more sunshine than some places that are, you know, along the Great Dividing Range. So um, Dalesford and Woodend and those sorts of areas, they get a lot of cloudy winters, um, but we get that sunshine. Of course with the rain comes a lot of cloud. Uh, we have had some sun showers. They have been really beautiful. So I just wanted to check in to let you know that I just haven't really had the inspiration to film a video outside because it's too cold and wet. I've also been working a lot outside of the home this past week and also getting a lot of things done inside. I'm trying to make the most of the weather and get things done inside so when the weather is nice and bright and happy I can be outside and I think this is key I think this is where you know you get clues from <laughs> the universe from the weather to tell you what you should be doing or whether you should be slowing down a little bit as well so I have been uh, really enjoying the mornings coming out here just for a little bit because it's been quite calm in the mornings and watching the massive family of magpies that we have coming into the garden at the moment and you can probably hear them making their song but they're just so beautiful they just sit and sing away and it's just really lovely to hear it's quite a relaxing way to wake up. So I'm looking forward to showing you what I have planted um, in my seedling trays over the past week. I have planted quite a few flowers because I do like to plant things for the bees and the beneficial insects to come into the garden. So I have been planting a few flowers and I have also whoop, delved into planting some of the nightshade. Um, I've just got Luna here wanting to say hello. Um, some of the nightshade uh, veggies as well, so eggplant, capsicum. I'm looking forward to showing you those and what else I plan to plant this month. 
Anyway, I will come back for another video very soon. I plan to film on Tuesdays, so Tuesday the 3rd of September. I will come back and let you know what I'm planting this month. So today I'm going to be doing some inside things and I thought I would film just a little bit of what I, one thing I'm making today, which is deodorant. I haven't made deodorant before. I have always used since I was uh, maybe 20 I've used or maybe no 23 I've used a natural deodorant it's really important not to be putting those chemicals near those lymph nodes on our body so when as soon as I learned that when I was younger I started using a natural deodorant we actually went without deodorant for a while and we it was fine our bodies had uh, adapted quite well to living without deodorant but um, your body changes as <laughs> you grow and I decided that I wanted to start wearing deodorant I will um, link below the brand that I purchased that I absolutely love it is it works it really works there are a few other brands um, one that my kids use because they don't like the smell the scent that is in the one that I use so um, there's another one that they use and I will also pop it on the screen um, and pop a link below um, I'm not getting any payment out of these companies um, they're just you know small businesses that make things really well and they really work but I have found that you have to try a few different natural deodorants before you find one that works for you everyone's body is different and um, yeah my kids could benefit from using the one that I use I think so I'm going to have a go at making my own deodorant and try and get as close to the recipe that this deodorant is although I'm going to be using slightly different things and a recipe that I found online because I don't have the recipe for this um, deodorant but just adding a few hello darling just adding a few come here sweet come here hey <laughs> just adding a few um, ingredients that that deodorant uses I think is key um, yeah anyway I will explain um, in the next part of this video um, but yeah I hope you are all staying nice and warm and dry Luna wants to say hi here we go here's Luna hi baby don't lick me <laughs> oh, she's shaking she wants to go inside it is cold out here isn't it you need your coat on don't you hey you just jumped out of bed and wanted to come out um, yeah, so I hope you are all well. It is going to get warmer. Is it? It is inevitable that spring will come and soon summer and it will be nice and warm and hot and our vegetables will be loving the heat. So yeah, I'll see you soon when it's brighter and sunnier on Tuesday. Fingers crossed it stays that way. It looks like it's going to rain again, but it's going to be warmer. So here's to the rain coming at night time and the sun shining during the day. Take care, friends. I hope you enjoy some time in your garden next week. Bye.